I don't even know how to explain it without getting angry. The Weight Watchers and the monitoring spirits and the people that watch everything about your life. They're watching you in 3D and they know what's up. Hey beautiful up. people, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, it's a pleasure to have you here. And if you're a returning subscriber, it's good to have you back. Thank you so much for stopping by. It means a lot to me that I could catch your attention twice in a row. Please hit the subscribe button be sure to check out my previous videos as you definitely catch up something and get entertained yeah so for today's video i'm going to be talking about some annoying things that nigerians do um i think this would be sort of a sequel to my pet peeves video but this one i'll be talking i'll be addressing some things that nigerians do that are very very annoying as a nigerian i can assure you that we are not normal I can assure you, I can tell you that for a fact that it could be a struggle to live among ourselves daily. Someone once said that if you are able to survive living in Nigeria, that means you are a very, very strong person. Now, if you find yourself on any of these tables that I'm going to talk about, just climb down. Eh? Hey, your auntie, uncle, you have to climb down from the table. It's not necessary for you to be on top of this table. All right, let's get right into business. The first and anything that Nigerians do is replying question with question. This is so rampant. This is so common here in Nigeria. You ask the person, have you eaten? You are going to get a reply like, did you give me food? Are you at home? Where yes, should I be? You have not answered the question but you're answering the question with question why do we do that i think i'm guilty of this too i need to i need to climb down from this table i need to climb down JJ so i will not fall on the floor you're always trying to jump cues if you find an, an average nigerian is so impatient to go through a process and stay in the queue and wait for their turn they're always trying to find a way to i don't know go around it <laughs> It's, it's annoying like it should stop if you find yourself in a queue stay there and wait for your turn wait your turn it's going to get to you it's not like it's going to take the whole day and another thing i've noticed that some nigerians do they struggle and fight over front seats in public buses like it's not your car you're not the owner of the car are you dragging for front seats what is in the front seat is there gold in there yeah because koye me i will struggle <laughs> people struggle to, to like get the front seat and if if it's two people sitting like somebody will be there if this if it's two people and then the front seat is vacant and it's supposed to carry two passengers somebody will arrive there first and wait and then wait for somebody to, for another person to go inside so that they'll sit by the edge of the window like why the stress? Connessus Street. I had an argument with them and <clears throat> the next thing you're gonna hear is do you know who I am? Are you in my class? Like we are always shouting, do you know who I am at every slight provocation? Who are you? Please tell us who you are and save us the stress of trying to guess who you are or what your class is like they feel so big if you have an issue with someone i feel like you should be able to resolve it without um without getting to threaten the person with so do you know who i am i am so so and so i am this i am that i feel like you don't get to that stage which brings me to my next point some nigerians find it difficult to apologize if they bump into you on the road they're just going to keep you moving they're not going to say sorry if they do something if you have you ever driven like as a lady have you ever driven a car and someone destroys your car or your side mirror and they just keep moving like why <laughs> another thing that they are very good at is giving unsolicited advice even to strangers that you've never met before <sighs> i think this is just a trait a Nigerian trace that it's like I feel like it's something that they cannot just help they can't help at all like giving what is your business if you are lucky enough to have clear skin and then you see someone that has acne you don't know if that person has been struggling with acne you start giving your own advice oh you are going to use toothpaste try toothpaste toothpaste is going to work for you if toothpaste works for your skin does that mean it's going to work for me and in the process of trying all this 
recommendations that you didn't even ask for in the first place, your skin goes bad or the situation goes from good to to bad. And I don't like stop giving unsolicited advice. If someone did not ask you, mind your effing business. Mind your effing business. It's none of your business. Okay. And you just think they're better than you because they are married or they've had kids. Now, I don't if you have a circle of friends and you are the only single one or like it's just two single people and the rest of them like they are married you're even lucky if they keep you and if they if they if they keep on talking to you once they get married because most of them once they get married they, dis they discard their single friends because they assume that you are jealous of their marital position now or marital life yeah. if someone calls you probably maybe they try the type um your number and it actually goes and they ask you who am i speaking to dude you called me introduce yourself first like you you are calling me asking me who you are speaking to like mm, are you normal are you okay up there <laughs> the other thing that nigerians are good at is giraffing looking into other people's phone in public spaces public bus and like have you ever been texting in a public bus and you, you just probably turn your eyes and you see the next person doing this looking into what you are typing like i don't <laughs> a lot of people are on this table again mind your business because that's how people will get in trouble and see what you're not supposed to see i don't like, i don't get it this has happened to me um, a couple of times Somebody is texting and you just find some, another person in, invading your private space. Try to see what you are typing on your phone. Like, what is that for? What will you now do with the information that you are getting from my phone? Please, let's let's let's, let's, let's kill that that thing. If you are watching this video and you do it to so other people, let's just kill it. Well, let's not forget the one the people that point that. You've added weight, the weight watchers and the monitoring spirits and the people that watch everything about your life. They're watching you in 3D and they know what's up. Next thing they're going to say, you've added weight to, ah, what are you eating? What's your business? Like, you just assume that if you add weight, they don't even know that. I don't, I don't think most people think that some people want to actually add weight there's some slim people slender people that want to be thick that want to have weight um or body fat in some certain parts of their body and then they, they go to the gym and they train for it and every nigerian does not even want to know that like you're slim now why are you going to the gym but i can think of myself i've learned to like give them a very good comeback so when you give them a comeback they step back Another one is the sense of entitlement. Nigerians can be entitled sometimes and it is irritating, very very irritating. Because um take for instance, I know someone <laughs> I know someone that she wanted to stop working for her boss and she thought about she was going to do something else she was going to go into to um do her business and all of that and she gave him prior notice to when he was going to quit so when she was going to quit boss paid her salary and gave her extra twenty thousand naira. as at the time that like dollar wasn't this high my camera stopped recording so i have to do this all by again she said that the boss should have her boss should have given her more than that amount more than 20k that he clearly he could afford it without even thinking about this man's business or how he puts himself together and all of that i mean someone was generous enough to give you to give you um a certain amount and you couldn't even appreciate it with all your heart i just thought that if you had the mind to give you, you have as well just paid you your salary and be done with if you had this mind to give you something then you should appreciate it with all, all your heart because you don't know what his business is like at that time Nigerians can be so hypocritical like they tell you to do one thing and the next time they are doing something else you can see somebody in a church and when you see the person outside it's like a, like a totally different person the monument the moment they step out of the church 
it's like another another character is born and then this person will have the mind to be judging you that you are not supposed to be doing this you are not supposed to be doing that like, who gave you the right to judge someone it's not like you created that person and you just judge the person with all your mind and all your chest Sing it loudly while using earphones. Coco kill me. Bele, Nigeria, Melisarius, Eleo. Well done, ma. Well done, sir. Eh? <laughs> you are oblivious of the people around you. You want to. You be. And it's not as if you are singing the right right lyrics. So you are singing the rock thing with so much passion and conviction <laughs> and disturbing the whole neighborhood. So I have exhausted my list that i made if you know some things that nigerian people do that annoys you and you would like to that i haven't mentioned already you should totally comment down below and tell me what what they are there are some things that some nigerians do to you that pisses you off if you have that please just comment down below and let me know and we have come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching up to this time thank you so much i do not take your views for granted i do not take your support for granted thank you Thank you for stopping. Thank you for stopping by, and that's it for today. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good night. Well, I'm actually filming this in the wee hours of the morning, so have a good day. <laughs>